impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody record. Tell me who record I haven't broke. Colossal Boxing Talk. Good, YouTube. This is the homie Smooth Cat, rolling with CBT, as you guys know already. I'm here to talk about a fight that um, that's close to being finalized between Jermail Ironman and Charlo challenging Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade for the WBO Light Middleweight Championship of the World. This is this is this is a huge fight for me because like I said I'm a boxing purist and, and I like seeing I like seeing two young guys in their prime going at each other. So this fight should be very interesting. You got Andrade the Southpaw, nice length, nice uh de nice to decent power, uh, uh overall a very skilled fighter and, and things of that sort. He he's not the best defender, but he's very skilled uh offensively. And then on the flip side, you have Jamel Ironman Charlo, who's a, um, who's a bit of a boxing magician, tactician. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> but anyways, he um, he he's uh, good on his feet, very accurate. Uses the jab to um, to 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 begin any of his offense, and he also has uh, he has decent power himself. He's also very, uh, he's defensively sound. Y yes, he gets hit some, and yes, there's a few fights where, where he didn't make the, the proper adjustments to, um, to, to remain, um, defensively responsible, but overall, he's, uh, he's, he's a very, he's a, he's a good defender, very good defender. And like I say, this fight here, it can go either way because you got two young guys in their primes who, um, who, who are looking to become the best in the division, possibly get uh, a big money fight with, with, with other top guys in the division. So this is definitely a very interesting fight if it uh, once it becomes finalized. But like I say, the, these two guys, I mean, they, they've been on um, they've been on a collision course for a while now, ever since um, Charlotte became the mandatory challenger for the WBO title. Uh, and Andre, by him just uh, moving over to Showtime, that makes this move even more likely to happen. So basically, the Cold War situation is basically just about thawed out and almost done. It's, just, it's a few elements, but the, ho hopefully Al Heyman and uh, uh, hopefully Al Heyman and Top Rank can work this situation out overall. And get this fight finalized, so so we can so we can see these two young guys go at it. Because like I said, this is a very interesting fight, and I'm already looking forward to breaking this fight down. And uh, my film study will begin later on today for this fight. I'm just like I said, this is a fight I've been calling for for a while. I even made a video a while back about uh, when Andrade was calling out uh, Canelo Alvarez. I was saying instead of trying to fight Canelo, he needs to fight Jamel Ironman Charlo. And the winner of that fight will have more gain. They would have gained more ground to be able to call out a Canelo or Eris Landy Lara and the other uh, top up, upper echelon guys at 154. But I'm not going to hold you guys too long. Just give my quick uh, synopsis on this fight. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section who you guys think will win, who are you favoring, things of that sort. What are you looking forward to in this fight? But uh, hopefully, uh, hit that like button for me. Like I say, leave your comments in the comment section. You already know I'll get back to you guys. Also, go over to our page and hit the subscribe button for us, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate all uh, the love and support you guys have shown us thus far. And, we, and we're going to appreciate the love and support that you guys are going to hopefully continue to keep showing us. And Colossal Box and Talk will keep moving forward. We have, a, we have an announcement to, uh, for you guys, too, but not yet. It's coming soon, though. But, like I say, this is Smooth Cat, and I'm out.